Hi guys, so we are on a road trip today to the Definitive Arms uh, in Indiana, Chase, and I end up purchasing this uh, AK build of the East German parts. And one of the main reasons is this uh, awesome, awesome regulated gas flow block and this is already included on this uh, rifle uh, some of them will be sold with those uh, gas regulated blocks and some of them you selling uh, basically well with the standard configuration the factory part yeah everything guys you have to go through the copper customs to purchase those rifles that's how i went i went through the copper customs in, and i purchased that rifle so don't bother chase directly the go to the copper customs but chase enough with the bullshit talk let's go back to the rifle so the first impressions are it's absolutely a soft shooter when you are shooting it and uh, of course you got different settings on the gas block right. and you can adjust them on the flow yep. how many settings we got on the gas block well so there's 13 positions total mm -hmm. 12 of which are actual gas settings one of which is a shut off um you know and you know one of the key things with it is it's truly a restrictive system so not only is it lowering the amount of energy that's imparted onto the carrier but the total amount of available gas coming through into the system is reduced so i mean when you're shooting it suppressed you're not getting as much back gassing at all i can shoot it without ipro on very mm -hmm. comfortably and um you know what i mean it's a cleaner and cooler system great point i spend a lot of times with suppressors and everything and on a case uh, usually you have always that problem to deal with because the gas is getting pushed to the back and right. getting tons of gas into your eyes i noticed that this is not the issue uh, how did you do that <laughs> so you know inside of the block you know a lot of people look for a venting system they have mm -hmm. a port that comes out the front or vents out the bottom of the tube or vents out surplus in the piston coming into the system so you have a excess of gas even more so than a regular AK and it's venting all the excess through so the face of the pistons only getting so much energy imparted you know instead we've got a gas cup inside I've got one here and it's just a series of ports you know with a locking lug system and this goes right through to the face where the port is on the barrel and prevents the gas from coming in at all mm. so you know with that um, you know if the rest of the gun is built right if you have the gas system tuned right if the host port size is right you can get a really really soft shooting gun we've got suppressed psls that are shooting like ars i mean they just don't kick absolutely there's a very little you're always going to have a recall the moment you're pushing the bolt carrier back there will be a, a recall impulse but even while i was shooting and she was shooting comfortably uh, without any issues what is great about this you can really adjust it on the flow yes it gets hot i get that but you can use the round tip push the pin and then spin the spin the scale and adjust it to your needs uh, besides once you adjust it you're probably running with it you find uh, so it's a uh, at the beginning trial and error right. uh, method and then you are perfectly set but we were shooting with uh, we were shooting suppressed perfect for hunting uh, the, i think like if you will take this pack package and go to the woods it's uh, incredible you can really have fun but most guys will run a case without the suppressor that's the bottom line uh, because it is for a different type of the shooting it is and can as we know can always generate more much more heat and everything so you have to be wary about it right but even without the can there is tons of usage for that gas block because as we know there are tons of AKs which are simply over gassed so the only drawback which i'm seeing is you have to take off the pins remove the front post and then press it in i mean press it out the old gas block and press it in the new gas block that's unfortunate yeah so i mean a, a lot of the ones that we sold were people getting ready to build guns we've sold them to other build shops or using in production builds and you know my thing is like this there's, there's a lot of parts not just here that make mm -hmm. building the gun easier and like you only have to build it right once the Absolutely. idea is that you should be using the gun for decades and the little bit of an inconvenience versus drop in parts versus a proper part to me it's all about the tool value and i'd rather sure. put more time in up front so that i get a better tool overall hey, honestly if you are building the ak from the scratch or if you are rebuilding it that's not even a question that's the value add you selling those blocks uh, as a separate part as well what's yes. the price on it uh, i believe they're right around 179 right 179. now 
and, and everything the, is included, right? So that's the complete. standalone blocks are like $149.99. The front sight gas block combo is $179.99. So the $149 will be cheaper because you don't have a front sight, but you have also the ones with the front sight combos. That's probably for the SBRs when, you, yeah. when you're going a little bit uh, more crazy and uh, putting them uh, in that setup. Question, are those only for the 7.62 by 39 guns? No, so the current pattern is for 15 millimeter OD barrels. That's gonna fit your standard AKMs, uh, 74s, most 100 series guns. And the range of ports we have inside has been very carefully selected. This will work right now uh, on 308s, 762s, oh, 545s, wow. 556s, 54Rs. You know, the mindset too is that depending on how much barrel, how much dwell time you have, it's all over the place. You know, with the shorter, like Draco system, you have to have a cup with enlarged ports. The factory gas port on the gun's already massively, sure. you know, oversized. We, this part comes out easily, the field strips right out, and we're gonna be selling blanks and modified cups that are a higher or lower range. So you have home builders who are really savvy, they've got machines, they make their own custom caliber AKs. You can buy one of these, it's a blank, and you can pick the port sizes you need for your project. Sure. So it's really uh, a little more work up front, but for the DIY guys or the high-end shops who are trying to build an exotic AK that does stuff normal ones won't do, this will let you do it fairly easily. That's absolutely cool. So it's a modular approach to the uh, solution. Right. It's basically a modular solution. Uh, Chase, this is the question for all the AK users. How often you recommend maintaining the gas block? So, you know, in testing, there, there's there's two aspects to that. It was like, you know, both the usage of it, you know, like adjusting. Um, we found it's like, yeah, it can get a little hot and you're adjusting and you're worried about it getting full of crud and needing to clean it. We haven't really had issues and that's, we've put tens of thousands of rounds through them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we sent one out to a, a, a writer and he put like 2,500 rounds. Hi, mates. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, he, and he had about 2,500 rounds or so through it, if I recall and he had sent it back to get a different paint scheme on it and uh, he hadn't touched it at all. And it was a little bit stiff, just like, you know, a suppressor that's been shot that sure. hasn't been dismounted, an yep. AR-15 bolt carrier group, when, things that's... When, when we shot our uh, M110s uh, in the Army and we removed the cans, uh, we, you know, after like uh, 1,000 or a little bit more rounds, you have to literally knock them off yeah. because of the, all the, the crowd which is getting all over the components. So every time when you guys running suppressed, uh, you have to be aware that this is going to create a lot of garbage uh, all over the places. But uh, so you would say basically 2,000 rounds? I'd say 2,000 rounds probably Check safe it number. Out. Check it out, brush it off. And you could go, you know, higher or lower if you're shooting sure. uh, it's well, corrosive ammo. I mean, on that subject, we'll run it through the 5,000 rounds test and we'll see. Uh, I will not clean it and we'll see just for the purpose of uh, how this is going to uh, interact. Uh, I will be checking after each thousand and we'll see hey, it's hard. It's not hard. You know, how is it? How is it working? So, so that's, that's, that's what's coming. He didn't even knew. See guys, <laughs> this is ambush right there. <laughs> oh, and same thing with like the heat. The idea is like, oh, I won't be able to adjust it on the fly because it'll be too hot. If you've got it that hot or yeah. if you've gotten that much carbon in it that it's seized, you, obviously it's been running. So at least in the field, if the gun is working and you can't adjust it because you put thousands of rounds through it, it's still stuck in position with that port. You'll yeah. be able to keep using it as is. You but know? I, I tested that already in the field when we're shooting. You can literally use two rounds, guys, and I'll show you uh, on the zoom in. Uh, you can press the pin with the tip of the round and then spin the, the ring with the tip of the other round. So that absolutely works. I'm not worrying about that. It's, and it's you know, and it's something doable. But uh, hey, outstanding job, Chase, really. And it's not just, we got the suppressor here, guys, but you will see me the footage. I'll capture more footage where I'm running the gun unsuppressed without, without the suppressor. And uh, you can absolutely benefit from it. Like I have, I love those. Like, I, you know, I love my Wasser 10, okay? It's freaking awesome rifle, but it is over, guys. There's not even a question about it. So that Wasser would benefit from it. And uh, that's something that I'll have on mind. One thing, we removed the cleaning rod, but this gas block acts accepts the cleaning rod, there's absolutely no issue with the cleaning rod, right. having a cleaning rod. But that's it, Chase, absolutely freaking amazing piece of the hardware. If you are, uh, you know, starting from zero with your AK, you want to fine tune it, you have, you want to have a lot of settings on the gas block, this absolutely uh, recommended piece of the hardware. It is a tool, guys, gun is a tool, unless you collect it. 
right. unless you're collecting. But in this uh, example, I, I purchased the rifle. This is another tool for me to put up the work. Uh, and I would not hesitate after shooting it. Today was the first time, really. I, I was watching Chase developing and, and everything, but I was like, hmm, okay, I will stay on the sideline, but I was shooting it and it works absolutely beautiful. It's amazing what you can do with it. You basically don't need the muzzle device. Chase, job well done. Thank, Thank you, you my friend. Thank you.